Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's video will be solving and chapter question 10.61 and this is about Thevenin's theorem and this is on the request of a student. So straight away to the question. This is the question. Find the Thevenin equivalent at terminal AB for the circuit in figure. And I hope you know what is the Thevenin equivalent means that we have to find a voltage here V Thevenin and also we have to find an impedance for the whole circuit Z Thevenin. So let's start. First of all, I have uh, just added a couple of things like the current here, current direction and this, this. This terminal, I'm calling it V1 terminal. This is V2 terminal. The output voltage is we'll call V Thevenin voltage or V open circuit voltage. So with this circuit, now let's write the KCL at node 1. And here, this current is entering I1, Ix leaving and I2 leaving. So I1 is equal to Ix plus I2. And now we'll write them in terms of a voltage. Now this is already in current form, so we'll just write two. And there is no need of writing angle zero. When the angle is zero, you just write the magnitude. But if the angle is anything else like 10 or 20 or 50, then you have to write the angle. So this is just to simplify, we well, just writing the magnitude. Then is uh, Ix, Ix is, you can see from here, V1 to 0. So we'll write V1 minus 0 divided by this impedance. And then I2 is this current from V1 to V2 divided by 4 ohms. V1 to V2 divided by 4 ohms. And we can simplify, we eliminate the 0. And then the easiest way is to multiply by the LCM of the fraction. So LCM is 12. I'm multiplying it by 12. So it will become 24. This will become 4 times V1. And this whole thing will be 3 times. Now we have to get rid of minus J. 1 over minus J. And I hope you recall this formula that 1 minus 1 over minus J can be written as uh, J minus goes up, so minus 1 over J, and minus 1 is actually J square. So J square over J is equal to J. So 1 over minus J can be written as J. So we'll do that here. So replacing this for J, and now we collect the like terms, V1 terms, V2 terms. So this is our equation number 1. Okay, and then now we'll write uh, at this loop, V2, uh, sorry, node, node 2. Well, you could have written the whole thing at uh, just taking this one current and this another and this the third current. But just for simplification, I'm using two nodes. So at this node, I2 is entering and I3 is entering. So I2 plus I3 is equal to zero. And I2, we have learned from here, is V1 minus V2 divided by 4. And I3 is 1.5 Ix. And we have already, uh, from here, we can write Ix is V1 over minus J3. And 1.5 can be written as 3 over 2. Now 3, 3 gets cancelled. So we get this relation. Here also we multiply by the LCM, that is 4. So this is the form. Now collect the like terms. So V2 becomes V1, 1 plus J2. This is our second equation. Now what we'll do is we'll put this value of V2 in equation number 1. So putting V2 in equation 1, so this is the value. And we can... Just follow these steps. 
from here we will get this uh, minus 3b a plus 3b a gets cancelled so we just get minus j2 b a is equal to 24 and therefore b a is 24 over j2 minus j2 again j goes up positive and then 24 divided by 2 is 12 so v1 is j12 but we are interested to find this voltage this is our thevenin voltage v2 so again now we'll put the value of v1 into equation 2 in this equation so j12 for uh, v1 and solving this is our answer in rectangular form and we can convert it into polar form so this is the answer now as i was mentioning that v2 or v thevenin is equal to v open circuit is also equal to this voltage v2 so we can say that v2 is uh, v thevenin is this voltage 26.83 angle 153.4 degree volts so we have found v thevenin now we need to find z thevenin now in uh, uh, my uh, video of uh, circuit analysis i have explained this technique in detail but just to give you an idea first thing we do is remove the independent source huh? in this case like it is a voltage source so we short circuit this uh, if there is a current source then we open circuit that and then if we have the independent source and dependent source in a circuit then we have three choices we connect a test voltage source of one volt or we can connect a one ampere current source or we can short circuit the output and then uh, find the current so we'll be connecting current source so in that case we need to find v across the test source divided by the i test source of the one ampere here so in our case we remove the uh, current source open circuit so this is open gone and we have connected a one ampere current source and the voltage across the current source is v2 as it is here same voltage here And as we mentioned that Z thevenin, we have to find v voltage across that means V2 and divided by one ampere current source. So V2 in this case we can find by KCL. So KCL is current entering one, and this is also entering so 1.5 IX and leaving is IX. Simplifying we get minus 5 ix is equal to minus 1 or ix is equal to minus 2 dividing by 0.5 and ix we have already we can see from the circuit it is v2 divided by these two items that is 4 minus j3 is equal to 2 so from here v2 is minus 8 plus j6 so v2 we have found and now we'll use this formula that Z7 in our case will be V2 divided by 1 ampere. So minus 8 plus J6 divided by 1 is equal to minus 8 plus J6 ohms. So this is the answer or this is the Z7. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.